Okay, let's take a look at how we're going to connect our Zoom conference to KHConf using RTMP. So we're going to need the details from KHConf to hand to log in, uh, the administrator of that account. And we're also going to need the meeting host of Zoom. So here I'm going to sign into my account and we're going to use my personal account in this uh, scenario and we're going to go down to the settings and then on the left hand side you see you've got this in meeting advanced settings if we scroll down we get a, a whole host of options for live streaming so typically facebook and youtube would be selected here we've unticked those and we've ticked a custom live streaming service now i've pre-populated this with some helpful information because this box is actually to help the meeting host put the right information in when they connect the live stream. So the streaming URL and the uh, streaming key will actually come from khconf. So we go to khconf and we log in with our details for this congregation and inside here we've got the account settings menu and we can see video stream settings. Now this information here and the token is something you actually want to keep private because with these details and this stream key uh, somebody can broadcast live to your meeting so we wouldn't want to just share that with anybody and after this recording we'll be changing those to something new. So we've copied and pasted the streaming URL in here and we're going to copy here and paste the streaming key also into this box. Now last thing we need is the live streaming page URL. This is actually the URL we'd provide to a user so that they could uh, then watch the meeting. So it's useful to have because we can then use it to test whether the live stream is working. So again we go to khconf and we have a look at our video viewers. Again, this is something we want to keep private because it's specifically for an individual of this congregation. So at the end of this uh, meeting, uh, this uh, recording, we're going to reset that. So we're going to paste that in on a new line here and click save. Right now, the majority of the work here is done. And now we can go to our Zoom meeting and create a meeting or pick one that was uh, pre-scheduled if this was for a congregation and then we're going to see how we would connect our Zoom meeting over to KHConf. So this is version 5 of the Zoom software, you'll notice the new end styling there and we have this option down here in more. Now previously you may have noticed there was a YouTube and a Facebook link so we're going to click live on custom live streaming service now Zoom opens this new window and we can see this is the information that we edited earlier. Now it's been helpful because now we can just copy and paste this if it ever gets reset or we're using it on a new computer or for some reason we've switched accounts. We can just copy and paste this information from here and start the live stream. Now just be careful with this last one, it might have selected an extra character. So when we click go live it says it's an invalid URL. You probably just copied an extra character, so that's ready to go. So we click the go live, and then this is just preparing the stream. Uh, it's not actually streaming from your machine, it'll be streaming from a Zoom server. So this is linking it all up and checking that that is working. Here we go. Now what we would see here is a local brother's view of what would be streaming. Now, in our case, we haven't actually started the meeting yet, so we're not expecting to see anything in our live stream. We can quite safely close this window down. It will carry on in the background. And when we went back to our, our Zoom meeting, you will notice it says live on custom live streaming service. Now with that running, everybody connected to the meeting will see this live on custom live streaming. That's nothing to be alarmed about and it's quite normal. Only the meeting host can connect and start a live streaming connector and only they can stop the live stream.
Now if we wanted to view and make sure that it's still running all okay, then we can click the view stream on custom live streaming service and it takes us back to that URL that we put in the configuration. Okay, so now we go back to our Zoom meeting. We can stop this live stream at any point and we can restart it. Again, preparing the live stream, turning some cogs on their Zoom servers and they're getting ready to broadcast it. There may be just a slight extra delay going to KHConf as it's not designed to be a, a real-time service. Back to our meeting, live on custom streaming service.